Good morning, San Diego. Welcome back. It is 9.49 right now. We want to take a moment to talk about our children here in San Diego County who are in the foster care system. You know, there are programs out there to help many children in foster care, but what happens when these kids grow up? What happens when they turn of age and turn 18, 19, 20, and they start stepping into adulthood? Who is there to help them out? Well, this morning we want to say good morning to Don Wells. Don Wells is here. He is the executive director of a group called Just in Time for Foster Youth. Good morning, Don. Thank you for having us. And right next to Don is Michelle Rios. Michelle is a young lady who went through the foster care system and got help from the Just in Time uh, group. And she is here to talk about how her life has changed and become a uh, so much better as a result. Nice to see you and good morning to you, Michelle. Good morning, thank you. My goodness, so many questions, but I want to start with you, Michelle. Yeah. Um, I know you are among so many of the children here in San Diego mm -hmm. County who have uh, the foster care system for one, for one reason or another. How difficult was that for you growing up? And what happened when you turned of age, when, when you became an adult? Right, well, it's, it's very hard. Um, you know, I think for a lot of foster youth like myself, it can be very painful and very confusing, especially when it comes to transitioning out of the foster care system. Mm -hmm. You know, I had an experience where I was constantly being told what to do, what not to do, um, having to follow all of these rules and expectations. And then one day you're kind of forced out on your own with little to no guidance. And, you know, you're expected to have everything figured out at such a young age. And it's it's simply impossible and it's unrealistic, but fortunately I was connected to Just In Time and Just In Time really helped me to realize the potential in my strengths and challenged me to utilize my potentials. And you know, I've been a participant for about six years now and here I am now. I'm proud to say that I am actually working for Just In Time now. So. How fantastic, Michelle. Yeah. Not only that, but you, you, you graduated from college. You graduated from San Diego I State. In May, so congratulations, yeah, Don. Kudos to Just in Time. You guys are really, uh, I mean, uh, clearly impacting lives here. So you step in when when these children grow up and they start adulthood. Right. Uh, it was we were started about 14 years ago by volunteers mm -hmm. who saw that these young people were leaving foster care and they didn't have a community of support. They didn't have that extended family. Yeah. So generally, when people leave home. It's, it's, it's not forced for one thing, it is sometimes, but, yeah. but the parents have furniture that they've kept for them that they can use for the first apartment. The parents go with them when they go to college, like Michelle did, and when they set up their dorm rooms, the parents help them do that. These young people were going out to the world with an empty apartment, sleeping on the floor, sleeping bag, no furniture, no pots and pans, college in their dorm rooms and mm -hmm. they see everybody else coming in with their parents helping them and they're there by themselves. So they start to think, maybe I don't really belong here. I don't have the support I need to do this and it's difficult. Mm -hmm. So the dropout rates for foster youth were extremely high. Uh, we, we have about 85% of the young people that we help in our College Brown program are still either in school or graduating. It's so great. it's, and Michelle, when you, when you talk to Michelle, you can see why it's so rewarding to just give that support that keeps people on the track they already want to be in. We partner with the youth, so they tell us what they want to accomplish, and we're that extended family, that community that helps them to move forward. Wow, and yeah. and there is a way that folks at home, if you're watching, if you're touched by this, can actually get involved. If if you want to get involved, here's what you need to know. You you have an event coming up. We have an event, an event com it's called Walk the Talk, and yeah. the whole idea is it's not a walk. It's actually an, uh, an event and a fundraiser where we're asking people to really support our community because these are our children mm -hmm. you know when when they're taken from their parents we take responsibility for them at that point they become our responsibility and they're still our responsibility even when they're 18 19 20 as you said before so this event is it's really youth run all the speakers the MCs are youth the performers are youth Michelle's gonna be there uh, Michelle's gonna be, be there, there. She oh is. my goodness and it is work. March 11th from 6 to 9 30 at the Hyatt Regency uh, right. in La Jolla right 
And what we'll do is we'll put information on our website. Uh, we'll put a video recap as well. To, so that And remind folks next weekend that it is happening because you want people to contribute. We do. We do. Okay. And again, that contribution just goes so far. And when the youth, we serve, they're 18 to 26, and we serve about 600 years a year. When they leave us at 26, they have a community of support, and they just keep going forward. Gosh, you're 23. You're almost 26. You, mm -hmm. You've gone... You've long way. I'm so proud of you Thank and you. you really, really is such a great role model, role model for so many other uh, children who have are in the foster care system and who will soon become adults. Thanks for coming and sharing, Michelle. Thank you for And John, having us. thank you so much. Once <laughs> again, get involved. We'll put more information on our website, KUSI.com.